<laughs> hello, 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 hello. Just testing the microphone here, making sure that it's loud enough so you can actually hear me. Because I know sometimes you guys complain, say you cannot hear what I'm saying when I'm doing these Q&A videos. So I hope you can hear me. Can you hear me now? Anyway, this next Q&A video is about hard drive noises. Sometimes your drive might start making these ticking and clunking and chunking noises that are not normal. Are they normal or are they not normal? Recently I had a two and a half inch drive or I should say I have a two and a half inch drive which, which has windows installed into it and it seems to be exhibiting odd behavior but I wasn't sure. It seems to be like every now and then it's like tick tock. But that's it. Didn't hear it before so you know usually that's an indicator something is up. Did a check, no bad sectors, but still, if you hear that kind of stuff going on, back up the drive immediately or back up the operating system uh, immediately and, you know, just to be safe. So, in my search, I came across this website. It's called datacent.com, D-A-T-A-C-E-N-T.com. I'll provide a link in the YouTube description box below so you can check it out yourself if you want to. It's about hard drive sounds, and most of these are really bad and horrible to listen to. It's... This is a Western Digital Drive with bad heads. You hear that? Oh my gosh. Oh, I gotta turn it off. But in any case, maybe your drive is exhibiting strange noises like this. If so, great site to check out. And they have pretty much all the noises. The drive, you know, with bad heads, uh, head crash, unstable heads, and so on and so forth. Let's just, for example, have a listen to a Seagate drive with bad heads. And they all say, sound differently, you see? And some of, some of them will give you warnings and beeps and, and that type of thing. So, excellent site, datasense.com. I hope this Q&A video has been helpful for you. Remember to subscribe and share and visit my website at 3dgameman.com.